John chapter 6 and verse 38. I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but the will of the Father which sent me. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Your healing today is God's will. God wants you healed today. Healing is the proof that Jesus Christ is walking today. In Hebrews 13, I it, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. When Jesus came here, he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. He went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among their people. In Luke chapter 4 and verse 40, they brought to Jesus all who were sick. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed every one of them. In Matthew 8, verse 16, that evening, they brought to Jesus all who were sick, who were demon-possessed. He cast out the devils by his word and healed all the sick. Jesus heals all the sick. Healing is the living mission of Jesus Christ every day. There were days Jesus never forgave anyone of sin or spoke of forgiveness of sins when he came here to this world. But there was no day he didn't heal. Jesus healed the noble man's son. The father was not born again. The son was not born again. Jesus healed the woman from Tyre and Sidon, whose daughter, he the daughter of the woman from Tyre and Sidon, whose daughter was under the touch of the devil. That woman was not born again. As a matter of fact, he, she was called a dog by Jesus Christ. Yet, as a dog, without repentance, without forgiveness of sin, her daughter was healed. Mark chapter 7, 24 to 30. Matthew chapter 15, 21 to 28. In Luke chapter 7, there was a Roman centurion whose dearly loved servant was ready to die. He sent for Jesus. Jesus went to heal his servant. The man said to Jesus, don't bother coming to my house, speak the word and my servant shall be healed. So Christ went back, spoke the word where the servant was healed. That Roman officer was not born again. The servant was not born again, yet Jesus healed them. There were days that Jesus didn't talk about forgiveness of sins, but there was no day they brought the sick to him that he didn't heal. Blind Bartimaeus was blind. Jesus Christ restored his sight, healed him of blindness. Two lepers came to Jesus Christ. A leper came to Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 3, Jesus healed him. What was the reason for his leprosy was not issue. It's not issue. There were 10 lepers in Luke 17, 12 to 19, that came to Jesus for their healing. They were all they were lepers. He healed them. One who was a Samaritan returned back to give thanks. There was no mention of sin or no sin. Jesus healed them. Listen, Jesus heals. He told me to heal a children. He told me, son, the only requirement for the sick to be healed is that they are sick. Salvation or no salvation is a non-issue. When it comes to healing, if anyone is sick, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And let them pray the prayer of faith. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The Lord shall raise him up. If he has committed sins, sins should not stop his healing. After he is healed, he will be forgiven. 
The reason why many have died sick is because of condemnation. Listen, healing is the proof that Jesus Christ is working today. It doesn't matter why you are sick. Jesus wants you healed today. And all power in heaven on earth to restore all to the heavenly standard is available right now. The power that will restore man to becoming like God. Is available right now. The power that we raise dust into human beings that are free from sin and free from sickness is available right now. The power that formed Adam as dust and put his the breath of God into his nostril to make him God on the earth is available right now. The power that brought Lazarus back to life from the dead after four days is available right now. The power that brought Jesus back to life from the dead after three days is available right now. The power that took Christ from the earth to heaven, brought him back and took him back again, is available right now. You can be healed of every sickness and of every disease right now. Your healing today is the will of God right now. There's no reason why you should suffer beyond now. There is no reason. Don't allow guilt to cage you and kill you. Don't allow any form of condemnation to tie you down in that sickness anymore. Jesus died for you not to die. Jesus suffered for you not to suffer. Jesus was killed by the wicked so that no wicked one can ever kill you again. Why must you suffer? Please hear me. I beg of you, believe that your healing is now and take it now. You don't have any reason not to be healed right now. All I must kill you to do is to stretch forth your hands, stretch forth your heart, look up to the healer and say, Lord, heal me now. You don't have to suffer. Healing is available. The power that can restore dust, Eh? into a real human being is available right now. When I speak, the words of my mouth convey God's power. The words of my mouth release God's power. When that power goes forth, anything is possible. He sent forth his word and he healed them. God said, let there be light, and there was light all over the earth. Right now, in the name above every name, the name of Jesus, at whose mention every knee bows of things in heaven on earth and in hell in the oceans beneath the earth, I speak to you right now, be healed of every sickness, be healed of every disease, be healed of every infirmity, be healed of every plague. The cause of sickness is broken over your life. The cause of disease is broken over your life. You are declared free, discharged, and acquitted from every sickness and from every disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every spirit of infirmity. And I say, you are loosed right now in the name of Jesus. Cancer is cursed. Leukemia is cursed. Arthritis is cursed. Stroke is cursed. I cause every sickness. I cause every disease. I cause every infirmity and every illness. Every devil oppressing you with sickness, I bind and I cast out of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from every hold of the wicked. It is over with sickness. It is over with disease. Live and not die in the name of Jesus Christ. The word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edges. It can pierce through to divide the soul and spirit. It can cut off bone and marrow, separate them. It can discern the thoughts and the interests of the heart. There is nothing that, that is hidden from the world. Anywhere, any jam that is causing sickness or disease is hidden inside of you. I decree, beaming the laser light of the word of life into your body. I decree that jam seed scorched to death. Now I release you from that evil hold. Every hold of the wicked is broken. You are released now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
You shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. It is done. Go to your doctors for a checkup. That evil devil is going to go forever. You are free. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Peace.